Ah, we are smitten. And recently, the editors at Shop Smart Magazine did a little shoe shopping and testing. Editor in chief Lisa Lee Freeman is here to tell us what exactly they found. Always good to have you here because you always have such fun tips well, for thank us. Thank you. Good morning. So, one of the things you did is, as much as we love shoes, Katrina talked to some folks. You know, a lot of women, even if they're maybe not the most comfortable, we wear them anyway because they look good. That's right. We are totally willing to sacrifice comfort for fashion. Um, but in terms of our tests, we actually found yes, spending more does not necessarily get you a more comfortable shoe. Which is great. So um, you, you took a look at three different price points of shoes yes. to see just how comfortable they are. But also styling we looked yep. at. We looked at the construction of them. We looked at Target, Ma Mosimo shoes, yep. Nine West shoes, and Manolo Blahnik shoes at three different price points. $30, $70, and almost $600. Wow. Three very different price points. We had panelists walk around in them. We covered up the labels. We had panelists walk around in them and fill out a survey about how comfortable they were, what they looked like, whether they would buy them or not. And then we cut them all in half to look inside and sent them to a shoe expert. And this is fascinating to me, the fact that you did, you did cut them in half. That's right. What did you find when you opened them up? Well, what we found is differences. Um, uh, the, the, the shoe that, uh, the first shoe here, Target shoe, uh, was not as well constructed as the mo mo more expensive shoe. Right. Not as flexible. The inside uh, fabric on the inside that's put in there is a little bit more stiff. Mm -hmm. These were mostly made of man-made materials. Okay. And women found these the least comfortable. Interesting. In the $30, uh, $30 price point. Up next, the mid-range one, Nine West, about $70. Yes. Women said that these were the most comfortable shoe. Hey. And regardless of price, they said they would buy these shoes over any other of the no shoes. No matter what. Is and there had, something in the construction that, sp that spoke to that? They were more flexible. The leather was nice. They had some nice construction details, too. The uh, stitching was on the inside of the shoe as opposed to on the outside. Mm -hmm. So they're really a nicely made shoe for $70. For almost $600. <laughs> Did people tend to think that this shoe was worth it as the testers were out these, there walking around? These were definitely the sexiest of the shoes we tested, yes. and they were the best constructed. Uh, they had a, a, All the shoes have a dowel in them, a metal dowel that holds up the heel, mm -hmm. but this one ha was reinforced with extra screws. It had a much more flexible lining on the inside of it. The leather was really nice, but women said that they're feet felt a little scrunched in these. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to feel scrunched. Okay, yeah. so for most of us, so that's good to know that the, the mid-range one was the best since most of us can't afford the Manolos. That's right. Uh, what are some of the other things? You have a number of different shoes here that we can look at yes. um, for, for comfort as well as, as a little bit of style. So we'll start yeah. with this first grouping here. Well, this grouping is sort of represents a tip in our story that when you're looking for shoes that are comfortable, the two things you got to keep in mind is, uh, first, get the right size. A yes. lot of us, if something's on sale, Buy we're anyway. snapping it up even yeah. though it's not our size. Uh, but it's very important to get the right size. Cobblers can increase the size of the shoe up to half a size. Oh, wow. But if you get a shoe that's not comfortable, it's, it's not probably worth it. never going to really be not comfortable. Worth it. It's a waste of money. Um, so that's one point. And these shoes are, have narrow heel cups. It's very important to have look at the heel cup and make sure that it fits snugly, but not too snugly. Right, because you don't want you don't want you it don't too want snug, it so this rubs on the back and gives right, you a blister. Right, exactly. Okay, so that's the heel cup. Yeah. You also looked at shoes. These are some some really comfortable shoes we yes. have in this next grouping. Okay. Um, what makes them so comfortable? What is it? Well, the point here that we wanted to make is that as you get older, your foot pads actually thin out. So it becomes more and more important to look for shoes that have a little extra padding oh. as you get older. And some shoe manufacturers actually make shoes with extra padding. And these are a couple of the manufacturers that do that. Cole Haan with Nike Air Technology. Nike Air, yeah. You'll see it. You feel, you can feel, feel it that. You know? we should, but these yeah. also have a platform, which I, I have yes, to say, I'm a firm believer that that little extra bit really it, it does. It's a little it more does. comfortable. The Geox is another brand. Um, Kenneth Cole has a line called Gentle Souls that's really nice. But whatever you're looking for, feel the inside of the shoe and, and make sure there's a little bit of stringy, really springiness in there. Soft. Yeah. Oh, I like makes that. Makes a difference. Flats, a lot of times we go to flats because we think it's a go to, it's going to be a comfortable shoe. Not necessarily. They don't always have as much support. No. Uh, if it's got no support, actually, it it's, may not be any better than a really high heel because it's, it's not going to be, you're going to be uncomfortable. And if you're going to wear really high heels all the time, that's not good either. Either. A lot of women don't know, but if you wear them all the time, you can get stress fractures, Not good. bunions, hammer toes, all of that stuff. There uh, are things that can help you with that. We're going to put some of yes. those details on our website. Great. Things that can try to make your shoes a little bit more comfortable. And also on our website, you will find some of the best online sites for buying your shoes, because I know you did a little yes. research on those as yes. well. Lisa Lee Freeman, thanks for having us here. You're I love welcome. the cut open shoes.